here at footage of what's known as the Gambler 500. People taking beat up cars, cars and vehicles on their last legs, breathing new life into them, and then taking them on a challenge course that is roughly 500 miles long. The next installment, McKinsey, of the Gambler 500 here locally is happening this weekend. So this morning on KGW News at Sunrise, I went out to Portland Meadows. I was uh, watching. It looked pretty wild. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we were out there this morning, Portland Meadows. That is where this weekend's Gambler 500 will begin. And we were joined today by about a dozen or so of these vehicles that will participate. They're not calling it a race. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a challenge course. And the idea is to just, just see if these beat up cars can actually make it the 500 miles. So we start on city streets. I think we have footage from this morning where we can see some of the cars that joined us here this morning on the morning show. But anyways, these. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yes, they obviously have some fun as well. Uh, the Eagle car right there with the drivers actually wearing the Eagle heads. The challenge course starts on the city streets of Portland, eventually making its way through the back country of Mount Hood and Central Oregon. Eventually, they'll come back to Portland Meadows on Sunday for a wrap-up party. Part of that party will benefit Children's Cancer Association. The founder of the event, Tate Morgan, joined us this morning as well, and he talked about if there is actually such a thing as a typical Gambler 500 vehicle. There isn't a thing as a typical Gambler 500 car because for the most part we, we attract all sorts of automotive enthusiasts. So if you're into old Fieros or old Nissans or Cadillacs, uh, you have a chance to, to go buy something that maybe you always wanted but couldn't really justify owning until this event came along. So this is again the Gambler 500. I would say it's probably too late to participate as a driver on this challenge course, McKenzie, unless you have a beat up car in your garage just rearing to go 500 miles through like off-road conditions. I was gonna ask you, what's the wildest thing you saw out there? Uh, car wise, it had to be uh, this huge like monster truck looking deal. Uh, but the thing about it is I, I saw some footage of the actual course. I mean, if you have a four wheel drive vehicle, you can tackle these these roads. Okay. Uh, and uh, off, the, to, off the, the beaten path, so to speak, on Mount Hood. But if you have a two wheel drive vehicle, which they encourage, <laughs> it is definitely a challenge. And they said in past Gambler 500 events, uh, more than half the field has not actually gone all the way. I was going to ask, some of these are like old beater cars. Right. Do they ever just break yes. down? And they, have mid recover, they have recovery teams that will go out there okay. and help you get the car out of the area. But you don't always finish. You don't That's always sure. finish, but it's a good time, I'm it sure. It starts again Saturday. Portland Meadows will be the start site and the end site for the Gambler 500. We're coming back, McKenzie, with a look back in time. Yeah. We all know about the eclipse that's coming next month. Right, it's Throwback Thursday. How about the eclipse that we saw here back in the 1970s? More on that right after this.